Hello there, fishy friends. In this video, we will talk about one of the most debated or much talked about issues in the fish keeping hobby. It is about when is the right time to put your fish in the tank. Thanks to the availability of resources from the internet, YouTube, and even social media fish groups with members who are more than willing to lend a hand, Many of our fellow fish hobbyists, including I, have become well informed about this aspect of the hobby. However, despite the availability of information, the issue when is the perfect time to put fish in the main tank remains a hot topic. Before we go into details, first a little reminder. All the things that I will share with you guys are based on my experience as a fish keeper and the information I gained through reading and sharing of thoughts with fellow fish keepers. Probably, if not all of us, most of us have been guilty at one point of our fish keeping journey of putting fish in a tank that has not been fully cycled yet. Admit it or not, taking home a full tank setup and fish from the local fish store is such a wonderful sight. Or maybe, due to lack of proper information, boredom, or excitement, we indulge into putting fish in our new tank right away. But whatever the reason is, the bottom line is many of us have been into this practice. This is why I made this video to somewhat distinguish the difference between a fish-friendly tank and a fully cycled one. So let us discuss first what a fish-friendly tank is. For me, a tank that is fish-friendly is one that has not established a sufficient amount of beneficial bacteria yet that normally live in our filter media, or a tank system that does not have any beneficial bacteria at all. What are beneficial bacteria? Beneficial bacteria are like our fish tank's army. They are the ones who defend our fish against ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates, which are the major enemies of our fish. Anyway, a fish-friendly tank is also a tank that has already been filled with water and with a filtration running for a few days or at least a week. I admit that I once followed this method in the past. There was a fish store owner who told me that if I use a water conditioner, which instantly eliminates chlorine, I could already put in a new fish in my newly set up fish tank after a day or even after a couple of hours. Chlorine, by the way, is another enemy of our fish and in fact, it is the first thing that needs to be eliminated to prevent fish death. And so, I gave in to what the fish store owner told me, and after a week of having the tank water circulate and a day after using the water conditioner, I introduced my fish, which was a green arowana, to its new home. By the way, here she is in her tank. She will soon turn 10 years old. So after circulating the tank water for at least a week, it is now safer to assume that chlorine that was mixed with your water has already evaporated. But the question is, will it now be possible to put the new fish into the tank? Well, my take on this is since you've already eliminated chlorine from the water, which is again the first enemy of our fish, yes, it is now possible to introduce your new fish to your tank. Another question is, will my fish be happy in this condition? Well, sadly, but no. Imagine the role of your beneficial bacteria. Aren't they the ones who help keep your tank water clean? So without enough amount of them, the tank will get dirtier as your fish disposes of waste. Just like us humans, we can tolerate a poor living condition with all poop and pee around for several days, but there will come a time, maybe a short time, that we will all get sick due to the polluted environment. But what if I was put in a situation that I was defeated by overexcitement and I have already added my fish in my tank after a couple of days of circulating the tank water? Does it mean that my fish will surely get sick, or worse, die? 
Well, not necessarily. Just like I said, some fish can tolerate poor living conditions for a short period of time. What will just happen is, your current fish in the tank will be the one to start the cycling process because it'll be the one to produce waste, which later on will be converted into ammonia. If that's the case, what should I do to prevent my fish from getting sick or dying? There are a few things that you can do to avoid fish loss. First, try to restrain yourself from adding any more fish until the tank gets fully cycled. Second, is to avoid excess feeding. Now, I understand that it is very enjoyable to watch your fish eat. However, you must remember that the more you feed your fish, the more waste will be produced. With too much waste, the faster the water gets dirty. And because there is little to no beneficial bacteria yet in the filter media, there won't be anything to fight against these pollutants. This is when your fish starts to get sick. The third is to scoop out any uneaten food in the tank. The uneaten food will rot if not removed, which will again contribute to the bad quality of water. And the last, but definitely not the least, is to be diligent with water changes. It is common in the hobby to change a certain percentage of water once every week, depending on the size of the tank and the number of fish in it. But since your system has not been fully established yet, or is still in the fish-friendly status or initial stage of cycling, you might have to change a portion of your tank water more frequently twice in a week, maybe. So, that, guys, is my definition of a fish-friendly tank. Please watch out for the second part of this video in which I am going to talk about a fully cycled tank. Also, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. To get updates on my latest videos, please turn on the notification bell. And if you have any comments or feedback, please feel free to post them in the comments section below the video. Happy fish keeping, everyone!